Hello, my name is Leslie. Uh, in mathematics, the greatest common divisor of two or more integers, when at least one of them is not zero, is the largest positive integer that divides the numbers without a reminder. For integers a and b, we say a divides b. If there exists an integer r such that b equals to a times by r. In this video, we have three parts. The second part, Matthew will give us some brief examples of GCD. And the third part, Circle, will give us some solution on how to do the GCD questions. Now Matthew will go through example of GCD and Euclidean algorithm. Okay, so um, so the GCD has just been introduced. So also the lowest common multiple of any two integers a and b would be the largest possible uh, positive integer that is divisible by a and a and b. So we have examples here. GCD of a and twelve would be four, whilst the lowest common multiple of a and twelve would be twenty four. Um, since it's divisible by, by both a and 12. Um, okay, so we can also use uh, prime factorizations to help with uh, GCDs and LCMs. So if we take an example of um, 18 and 84, um, we can split them up into their prime factorizations. And we can find the GCD by um, finding the product of the numbers in the union, whilst the LCM, um, the LCM will be the product of the numbers in the intersection. So we can have the GCD in the intersection and the LCM in the union. So we do this because the 18 and the 84 both have a 2 and a 3 in common. So for something to be a divisor of it, um, it would need to it would need to be a multiple of both 2 and 3. And the greatest one we can have there is 6. Whilst um, for it to be a multiple, um, it would need just the least um, for what they have in common here, so the 2 squared and the 3 squared and the 7 here. Um, clearly this method could only be feasible for smaller numbers and for larger numbers we'll use um, Euclidean algorithm. I'll just go through an example here for, for 210 and 45. So what we do is we take the larger one and we use the division algorithm to find a quotient here and a remainder and then we move we just move these to the left and we move the remainder here we have another quotient here which is one and this time the remainder is 15 and we just keep going until we get the remainder zero and the last non-zero remainder would be the GCD and this is more efficient to use in um, larger numbers. So we get 15 for this one. No circle. Um, could you solve this problem for me? Yeah. yeah. These numbers in GCD. Uh, first, we need to find the divisor of the 28 and uh, 54. So the divisor of the 28. Is so the divisor of twenty eight is one, two, three, four, seven, fourteen, and twenty eight. Now we need to find the fifty four divisor also. So
So now we have a divisor of 54 is 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54. Now we find the same number is 1 and 2. No, uh, yeah. So GCD of 28 and 54 is the largest number of these two. So, so it's, it's two? two? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.